Today's quick tip is one about helping your child to open up to you if you think they've got stuff on their mind and the conversation's not kind of got going. What I find to be really helpful is just to quietly do things alongside your child. So rather than specifically trying to get the conversation going, and you might do, but if you're having limited impact with that, but you get this feeling that your kid's got something on their mind, just quietly be nearby whilst they're getting on with something and you're getting on with something. So you might be cleaning nearby. I will sometimes pick up my knitting or be doing a jigsaw or be quietly reading. Be doing something that shows that you're busy, that you're kind of occupied, but you're not uninterruptible. So your child knows that you're there should they wish to start speaking to you. Sometimes it can take kids a while to build up the courage to start a conversation or they just need to get into the right kind of mindset or they just literally need to find the words and just being in kind of companionable, doing, kind of quiet, silence, doing things alongside can really help them to get to that point where they're ready to speak. You could also do something with your child, so sometimes I will knit with my child or we'll do a jigsaw together or maybe you like creating together. The easiest one is to get up and go for a walk. You can walk in companionable silence and then when they want to start talking then they can and that can work really well. But yeah, if you've got a feeling that your child has stuff on their mind, hello Alfred, <laughs> then um, you do things alongside them. Just kind of be there, ready listening, allowing them to talk when they want to. And you, you might remind your child every now and then, I'm always happy to listen if there's anything you want to talk about. Just let them know that, but try to remove the pressure from the situation. What we often find is when that pressure is removed, that then perhaps they begin to find their voice. When we sit there in that kind of interrogation, okay, what's on your mind? I can see something's wrong. That can feel a bit tricky. So let them know that you care, that you're listening, and then just quietly be there, bubbling away in the background, waiting, ready. And if they do start talking, just listen, take it on board, try to understand, ask your open questions. I hope that that's helpful. I would love to hear from you. Leave some comments telling me what kind of things do you do alongside your child um, in order to encourage them to get talking? What things do you enjoy doing with your child together? Um, and do you have any other tips for getting kids talking when you think there's something on their mind? What's worked well for you? If you're finding any of my content helpful, please consider giving the video a like, a subscribe and a comment and maybe head over to my Patreon channel and think about following me there too. Uh, my patrons are the people who are going to enable me to really focus in on creating more content around supporting you to support your child. This is where my true passions lie um, and getting a decent following there and a community there who will support me to create that content will enable me to do more of it, which I hope will help all of us. Till next time.